I was talking about you. Oh, this just slips right off. No, <laughs> no I, I think your enthusiasm for the game has gotten way out of control. How can you say that? Darma, look at me! <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Where did we get this? I know! I found it in a dumpster! Can you believe somebody threw that out? <laughs> Dharma, do you think you can go a week without watching a game? Absolutely. I mean, I went my whole life without watching football. I mean, you, you've watched hundreds more games than me. I mean, maybe you're the one with the problem. Did you ever think of that? Fine. Let, let, let's both stop watching football for a while. Fine. After Monday night, no more football. No, no. Let's, let's start with Monday night. Oh, but Greg, the ever-dangerous Buffalo Bills are coming into town, and I already made the I can't believe they're not Buffalo burgers for the tailgate party. <laughs> I was thinking we should have your parents over for dinner. You haven't seen them in a while. Because they hate football. No, but they, they love you. Yeah, yeah, I love them too. <laughs> Dharma, please. For me. <laughs> okay. But I could really use a hug right now. Sure. Okay, now how about a hug with the helmet on? <laughs> These patties are delicious, Dharma. Even if I had had buffalo, I wouldn't believe they weren't buffalo. This isn't buffalo? I can't believe it. Hey! Hey! Jane, how's it going cooking dinner for your new boyfriend, Bill? Not so good. I had a feeling. Sue, you don't need to borrow anything? No. I almost needed to borrow seven more eggs, but Bill knocked the recipe out of my hands like uh, this far from the stove. <laughs> So all you need is the 10 cups of sugar and the seven eggs from before? Yep. 10 cups of sugar, seven eggs. Well, better be back to cooking my dinner. I'll be half through in two minutes. Why does she need that much sugar and eggs? Come on, Abby. We've all been there. All of us together enjoying a nice meal on a Monday night. <laughs> Are you ready for some dinner? <laughs> I'm ready for... Hey, who would like some tea? Oh, yeah. That would be great, mm -hmm. Darm. Would you put some water on, please, Greg? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> Abby, you like honey in your tea, right? Yes, thank you. Oh, well, we're out. I'll have to go get some. No, 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 Darm, it's not that important. Abby, you, you birthed me? You raised me? <laughs> You'll get honey. Larry, did you ever get the feeling that there's something going on right in front of you and you're just not getting it? What? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't think honey would be this hard to find. I'd go to four stores and all they had was clover. You have some confetti in your hair. Because uh, I was so excited when I found the honey, I ripped up my receipt and just threw it into the air. <laughs> okay, I went to the game. But only because they were losing and they needed me and I went and we won! Where's Abby and Larry? They left. You didn't tell them where I went, did you? Dharma, you went to get honey three hours ago. What was I supposed to say? I don't know that I found a bird's nest and I went to put it back in the tree and the woman whose tree it was was really mad and threw a rock at me. We all should just be happy that Dharma's okay. Anything. Dharma? Were they mad? Y yes, and frankly, so am I. Okay. Where are you going? We need to talk about this. Be right there. Sorry, guys, no victory party tonight. He wants to talk about our relationship. <laughs> My God, this is so cool. <laughs> Honey, if this is how you express your anger, you are so healthy. Well, I hope you're still happy when we leave. Leave? Why would we leave? Get out. The 27 trap off the weak side linebacker. <laughs> what a work of art. Come on. Mm. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Young. Excuse me, Mr. Young. I'm, uh, <gasps> I... Gosh, it's Steve Young. Mm. Uh, 
Hi, I'm Greg Montgomery, your agent arranged for us to meet. Yeah, Mr. Montgomery, how's your sick little boy? Uh, no, I'm, I'm the guy with the uh, obsessed superfan wife. That's me, 49er superfan Darwin Montgomery, standing here with Steve Young. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know with the career quarterback rating of 96.2, you stand as the most accurate passer in the 78-year history of the league? Yeah, I have it on my business card. Really? No. Actually, Ms. Montgomery, your husband wanted me to talk to you about your involvement with our team. Oh, no need to thank me. I know I'm the reason we're winning. Oh, on the other hand, nothing wrong with an attaboy. Uh, Ms. Montgomery. Dharma. Uh, Dharma. Uh, a football team wins and loses based on its own performance. Exactly. It's not because one fan is cheering or dancing or crossing their fingers. So you really don't have anything to do with whether the Niners win. I'm not helping. I have nothing to do with it. Because I made a hat. And Greg said that that was us down there. Oh, please, don't cry. I've never been part of something like this. Can't you feel me up there rooting? Because I feel your pain every time they knock the crap out of you. No, I feel you rooting. Forget what I said. He's the one that told me what to say. <laughs> the 49ers cannot win without you. Thank you, Steve Yo. You're welcome, super oh, fan. Oh, Greg, isn't Steve so wonderful? Yeah, he's a peach. Oh, uh, could you throw me a pass? Yeah, go out long. <laughs>